Greetings fellow star travelers and dimensional hoppers and conscious evolutionary soul particles in human vessels. I have a gift for you, a creational gift in part of the waking up process to what is. And I like to present that to you in a Star Trek manner, which is channeled by the way. So this is a Starfleet Commander and Science Division Arcturus Ra reporting live ground crew holding up the torch for those who need to see where the safe shores of awakening are knowing that you're not crazy we are close we are here and we are keeping it up until contact is established thank you and eternal thank you enjoy the show now establishing data link. Accessing. Ready. Greetings, fellow star travelers. This is Starfleet Command and Science Division Commander Arcturus Ra speaking. On behalf of the Arcturian star system, Botus Constellation, Northern Hemisphere, I'd like to welcome you on board of the shuttlecraft Antares. Today's mission protocol is a human civilization survey for planetary advance. Exploration in the Velotropian sector. I will be guiding this exploration today. Eternal thank you. Greetings fellow star travelers. My name is Commander Arcturus Ra. I'll be the host of this travel, or call it exploration as we are scanning the landscape and the surrounding environment finding the uh, proper takeoff position to take you into a little higher sphere to get you a little better perspective of where we're going um, the planet is called Vela Tropa in our system you call it Earth some call it Gaia some call it Tiamat that depends on what timelines are we defining as you can see in the takeoff here, observing the landscape, we're attempting to show you how we observe your planet and the surface in areas that we will call as designated landing platforms and ancient sites where this was the case. So what you see before you seems like withered rock. You see a lot of accumulation of iron oxide and um, silica-based uh, quartz-type substance. That's why uh, the rock appears to you in red. So this is a big oscillation chamber in terms of healing. This quadrant is also called Sedona. Backwards, interestingly, anodes. So for those who know science, you know what an anode is, you know what a cathode is. A lot of particular spots and areas can be found here when the mind is adjusted and used right. You see here ancient pathways that were formed by nature, but not quite. And behind this architectural miracle that you see before you is a divine super program for holographic construction of planetary existence. In some movies, you refer to that as terraforming, meaning there is a divine architecture behind how land masses are being formed. It's not just how, in your regular teachings, it is being taught how the formation of rocks uh, comes to be. You 
soon we'll see as we will make an approach to uh, an ancient site within this rock formation which is a stargate where our craft and vessel uh, tends to go interdimensional also let us explain to you we do not, not we do not travel from other star systems per se it is more like we travel from other timelines into your timeline so at times when we make physical contact we are subject to the physical laws and conditions of your planet so we have a safety protocol to stay cloaked while in transit meaning we can hover above you as you walk let's say these rocks or out in the field and we can watch you and see you clearly also to have into and monitor the way your brain frequencies operate also determine the level of perception and if you're ready to see us or not all of this as you can see these layers and lines and these rocks are formed timelines so not imagine that when you have a craft or a vessel you can jump these coordinates and timelines at will the co- the coordinates for this operation here is uh, uh, um, longitude 111 and that appeared in the case of the uh, what you call the Rendlesham Forest uh, encounter with the triangular craft for planetary survey and it was translated yet the human race has to realize that these are very significant uh, coordinates for future contact and landing experience in physical form so no longer will the brain be access to the theta brain waves where it is all theoretical and partially imagined how it would feel it will soon be a reality on your planet as you can see we are surveilling um, the area and checking optional uh, landing sites and landing points to uh, have secure coordinates for us to come in what you see uh, before you uh, coming up um, in roughly a minute is an ancient stargate so you must imagine that on the other side of your future planet as the in the ascended earth that has to energetically merge with the uh, fallen aspect of the earth is that you see before you a gate that gate is an energetic formation in the rock formation that you see before you there also is a god tower it has been reported by some of you that ships uh, went across the valley across that god tower you can see faces in that tower if you really look closely you can see a guy with a turban that is for the third eye activation to see if you actually have the capacity to perceive high dimensional aspects of us being there we are you you are us we are you we are speaking through you you speak with us yet you make a difference because the veil has to do with the splitting of the hemispheres of your brain that is an evolutionary process that took us to hybridize and fix for over 30,000 years now is more the time where we can explain in depth and in detail why and how that is as you can see to the left you have we are passing the two god towers as the light marks the spot passing is a magical landscape of sedona um for you that need orientation um you looking at the gate directly So as the craft moves through this gate the frequency of uh, the molecules are being changed the spin of the electrons around the atoms are being changed by a conscious computer that ex- assists the pilot or the crew thus enabling us to move through solid confinement and to jump dimensions as you can see in the rock formation in front of you this looks like an ancient city Well, now imagine front to back that this was an ancient city and what you're looking at is the weather remnant of what is a replica of on the other side with what which was golden temples um landing platforms contact space and uh, god towers the uh, temples where you would study and engraved in these um rock formations for you in secret are timelines 
for you as you visualize them to activate certain protocols in your cerebral cortex, meaning the codons in your DNA will be activated into full fruition. So many of you might see faces in there, faces of certain belief systems that you've had your visual perception based upon, and you can see how these timelines are clearly visible as you look into the center of the picture you see a rock formation that looks rather white than red and we had um, heard through telepathy that certain people that walked these areas uh, thought that they're looking at remnants of uh, ruins of ancient cities citadels and towers and walls and whatnot well It is partially there because it's based upon your memory and your activation codes. Even in the picture to the right, you'll see something that looks like a sphinx, but inverted, moving more to the center, you'll see a face if you really look closely. So as the survey continues, we leave you to the flight and hope you enjoy the visuals. And um, most certainly, this is Commander Arcturus Ra, and I will see you on the flip side. Eternal thank you. Amwa nemi sakaya ta ayu memuasa diwa ma amwa nemwe.